Hello, welcome to Two Northerners on Tour. Um, it's a glorious Friday and we are off work again. We've got three glorious days in Windermere to go to. Troutbeck. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're heading up to uh, Gillhead Farm, uh, which is uh, an independent site. Uh, we've not been before, so we'll uh, we'll see what it's like when we get there. But uh, having looked at a few reviews and, uh, and a few uh, photos that people have taken, it looks pretty nice. Uh, so yeah, it's uh, quite a muggy hot Friday, isn't it? Okay. Weather forecast for the weekend is a little mixed. Where uh, we are expecting a few uh, thunderstorms as we've been having lately, uh, but, uh, but we'll make the most of it anyway, won't we? We will. We'll have got the bikes. Well, yes. We're going to go and get the bikes. Absolutely. Yeah. Got uh, our legs with us. Yeah, and provided it's not absolutely bouncing, we will uh, we'll endeavour to get out on them this time. So uh, we'll catch up with you guys very soon. Shaking the nuts off something means. It does, honestly. <laughs> People take it the other way, but actually, what it really is an engineering term. When you get something with a lot of vibration, the nuts come loose on things and they retighten it. Are you nuts? Nuts, you're nuts. to reception, For reception, reception turn left, left through the gateway. Left through the gateway. There we go. It's very nice, isn't it? It's gorgeous. This is a pinch, isn't it? Good morning everybody. Good morning and welcome to Gillhead Farm Caravan Park. Yeah. We arrived here yesterday. Um, it's a, a lively site. It's a little bit of everything for everybody. So you've got pods, you've got statics, you've got tourers, um, tents. tents, motorhomes. Yeah, like Marie says, it, it is a... It's lively <coughs> for me. families, definitely. Yeah. You can uh, have a great time. There, 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 uh, there are plenty of facilities here for, for everybody, really. Mm -hmm. uh, but <clears throat> excuse me, Frog. Uh, it is a little bit more suited to, to families and those wanting a little bit of activity. Obviously, we're, it's in Troutbeck, uh, which is uh, obviously not far from Old's Water or from Windermere. Uh, quite a few of the lakes. Keswick's not far up the road. Uh, absolutely beautiful scenery around the site. And, uh, and it's got... V absolutely great f views from every field yeah so the facilities are, are pretty decent there's washing facilities it looks like there's some sort of a uh, tv lounge for youngsters there's uh trampoline trampoline you can hire fire pits uh so yeah it's got it's got everything you could want from from any campsite uh well as you can see we're we're adorning our cycling gear this morning 
So we're going to head out on the bikes. We're going to head up towards uh, Ullswater uh, and the Dreddy Kirkstone Pass. Uh, we'll see how we go with that. Uh, I have done it uh, a few times, but uh, but not recently, not in uh, in quite a few years. So uh, it's going to be a long day on the bikes, but uh, we've got the weather, so so why not? It's not baking hot today either, is it? It's not baking hot, no, but it's dry, it's sunshiny, a little bit overcast. It's not forecast for rain, so I think we'll be fine. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So we will bid you adieu, and uh, we will catch you, hopefully, uh, a little bit later on in the day. We we'll hope to do some footage today, maybe a little bit of drone footage. We'll, we'll see how things go. Uh, it all depends on where we find places, uh, but there are some absolutely stunning views in the area, so we're hoping we can share those with you. So, uh, well, like I say, we'll bid you adieu and we'll catch you guys later. And there is Christopher. <laughs> Straight line. Okay, Jake. Absolutely gorgeous. It was like old water. Absolutely gorgeous day. We're cycling uh, down to uh, to Lake Ulls Water and beyond, hopefully. There's a few hills to climb today, but uh, still relatively early. And there's Marie looking splendid for us. <laughs>
Hello guys, we are at the end of our uh, long weekend away now. Yep, so that was uh, three nights and four days at Gilhead Farm down in Troutbeck. Uh, we've we've done quite a few things while we've been here. Uh, we've uh, we've sat out, you're allowed, uh, they actually do pit fires here, so uh, we sat out in the evening, Friday evening, uh, enjoyed just chilling out, a bit of a barbecue. Uh, it was absolutely beautiful sunset, so uh, it was quite a busy sight, uh, which they probably all are at this moment in time. Uh, but uh, but yeah, we just sat out Friday night and uh, relaxed. Uh, just uh, took in the moment, didn't we really? We did. We did. Nice night. Nice relaxing. Get set up as you get here. Uh, have a look around the site. Have a bit of tea, a few beers, yeah. barbecue like you say. It's good. And then Saturday? Saturday, a 26 mile bike ride um, around Ullswater. Um, we've shared some of the snaps and uh, drone footage with you. I hope you enjoyed that. Yeah. Uh, we we got to Ullswater, we went through Ullswater to Castle Rig, from Castle Rig to uh, Passadale and then we got to the foot of the Kirkstone Pass. We, we, we did about a quarter of it, uh, but uh, we had a couple of big hills on the way back and uh, it was pretty hot so uh, we decided not to push it too far today. Uh, we're still losing a bit of the old lockdown timber, so, uh, so it's a case of... Uh, not doing too much all in one go. Uh, so yes, yeah, so we we turned around, head, head back, stopped off in Castle Rig, didn't we? Yeah, uh, had a bike to eat there. Yeah. Yeah, it was it was really busy in Castle Rig, uh, but we had uh, we nipped into the local shop, uh, got a sandwich and a bit of a salad, uh, and topped up with water. Yeah, we weren't able to uh, hire the pit fires this weekend with it being so busy, but we we sort of did a makeshift one, didn't we? With we the did. with an old barbecue that we had yeah. uh, stored under its seat, so. Uh, yeah, we had our own pit fire. That was a lovely evening as well, wasn't it? Saturday night. It was. It was, and then, uh, and then Sunday we got up uh, and took a a, a leg stretch, now, didn't we? Uh, yeah. Took a walk. Uh, nothing. No, we're too far. Just uh, did about a five mile round trek. There's plenty of places to walk around here. Uh, but it uh, it was forecast for for rain yesterday. But there's plenty of walks <laughs> around here as well. Uh, the coast to coast cycle route is very close by to this site isn't it it is so you could either walk it or cycle it so that's there that was what we did we sort of set off on the cycle route didn't we? And then, if I, I think right, it was it c71 and we then we sort of we saw a public footpath across a field so we went and joined the <laughs> sheep for a little while didn't yeah, we got yeah. a little bit lost but uh all in all it was a good walk good stretched our legs yeah got back here at a reasonable time so yeah not bad so like I said, we're, we're heading up home today, uh, back to Lancashire. Uh, so it's not too far, it's only a couple of hours. Uh, and then our next uh, booked holiday at this stage is up to Castle Rig, so not far away again. Uh, but that'll allow us to uh, get a little bit closer to Keswick uh, and Derwent Water. And, uh, but we're, we're up there for, uh, for a long weekend again. Yeah, and hopefully we will get there because Max is in for an MOT in between. Yeah, Fingers crossed. <laughs> so yeah, so hope you guys have had a good weekend. And uh, like I say, if you haven't already subscribed, subscribe. Uh, don't forget to hit the like button. Uh, and if you want to be kept up to date with videos, we have got a few upcoming. Uh, don't forget to hit the notifications icon. We are only a small channel. We're doing this as much as anything to to save our memories uh, and also try to share some of the the sites and some of the places we travel some of the things that we do uh and and help some somebody else enjoy what we enjoy doing yeah okay so it's bye from two northerners on tour and we'll see you soon bye bye <laughs>